Okay, so we started with section 1.4 last time, and we did the bulk of the beginning part of it until we got to this one page that has like a massive table on it. Big, giant table. It's so big that it takes four slides in my PowerPoint presentation here. Whatever, my dossier presentation. Um, we're going to go through these steps as we work the problem. Um, anything that you see that's outlined in a box, and it should be outlined in a box on my slide, as well as in your notes that you've printed out, that's an actual button in your calculator, okay? That's what that represents. Anything that's not being represented in a box is representing some kind of a menu. So, for example, if you see option number two here, it says select one colon edit. It's an option within the screen. It's not an actual button. Um, we won't have to do all of these steps every single time that we work these problems. Some of them are a matter of us. We need to get our calculator set up to be able to do this, period. All right? So let's actually go through a few of the first steps to make sure that everybody's on the same track. So please have your calculator out. And if you don't have it with you here in class today, you're probably going to have to go through this video and go through all these steps on your own later to make sure that you have it down. So we're going to press the stat button and select the first option that says edit. And when that happens, you sh should see a screen where it has headers that say L1, L2, and if you keep scrolling across, they usually go out to L6. You don't need them to L6, but I think that's how far they go, okay? If you already have data in yours, like there's data in mine, it's got like entries in there already. What you do is you go up to the L1 or the L2 header, you just arrow up to it and you press clear. Do not press delete, that will erase the entire list and it will just disappear. I mean, like we can get it back, but clear actually clears the list out. So we want clear lists to start with. So what we're able to do then is to put data into a table. And if you flip over to the next page in your notes, you'll see the data that we're going to put into the table. The data that we're going to put into the table is one of my brand new questions. This table shows the total number of positive COVID-19 cases diagnosed in Oklahoma weekly in weeks after April 1st. Okay, so this is early on in Oklahoma, really early, like right as you were starting to do all your stuff online with your professors last, last semester. Okay, so what you're seeing here is you're seeing two sets of data. The first one is going to go in the list L1, and the second data is going to go in your list L2. So you're just going to go down your L1 list and you're going to type in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then over in L2, you're going to type the COVID-19 cases number, which are the larger ones, 719, 1524, 2297, 2894, 3473, 4201, and 4852. Now, if you didn't miss any, hopefully you didn't miss any, like you should end up with the same number of entries in each list. They should match. If you've missed something, they're not going to match, and you'll know to go back and figure out which ones you actually skipped or something like that. Okay, so if we come back to our list of details, we have now gone through step one, step two, step three, and step four. All right, we've entered our data into L1 and L2. To get out of this particular screen in your calculator, you hit the second key and the mode key, which is right next to it, and that will put you back in the regular menu where you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay? So you'll be a regular blank screen, or maybe it's got some data in from something you did before. After that, I want you to hit the second key again, and Y equals. And when you do that, the title on this screen should say stat plot. And it should say one plot one, two plot two, three plot three, four plot four. Do you guys have that screen? All right. We're going to select the first one, one plot one. And we're going to make sure that all of our lists and everything look correct. You need to turn it on. So you're going to have to press on top of the word on. You're going to press enter on top of that word. You're going to have to decide what kind of a, of a plot you want. Um, so you have choices, but the one that we're going to be using is actually the very first one listed. It's a dot plot, okay? Just a, a scatter plot. So you're going to use the very first one. 
It will say something like X list and Y list. X list should say L1, Y list should say L2. Does anyone's not say that? Because if it doesn't, I'm just going to come fix it myself because it seldom happens. But yes, Martin. Mine, like, I can do the inversion L1. Okay, I can fix that too. Not have L1 or L2, or not have them, not have it say L1 and L2 in the front place for the work. Okay, awesome. At the very bottom, you can select which of the different three types of dots you want it to show up in. So the first one actually looks like um, sort of a, an open circle. Um, that's the one I use because it's visible enough. Um, the second one looks like a plus sign. That's also visible. Um, I think, for me personally, it looks a little distracting, so I don't use that one. And the last one looks like a dot. I think the dot's a little bit hard to see, so I don't use that one. But it's your pick. You can pick any of them you want. Okay, so you should have your plot one on. It says, select on, make sure X list is L1, Y list is L2. Those things, and the plot one being on, those you're not going to have to change anymore. So all of these steps from here to here are a default now. We don't need to do them again, okay? So we just took out four steps from this crazy list that I just gave you. It's already done. So press Y equals. Clear out any equations you have. Mine has one, so I'm going to clear it out. Just clear things out. And then hit the zoom button and select option number nine. So, again, this is one of those unfortunate things that I don't have a display for you, but you should see a bunch of dots on your screen now. Do you see dots? Awesome. Does anyone